Two Republicans swept four congressional district seats representing East Tennessee, including that man, Tim Burchett. It was a repeat race. Burchett also won against Democrat Renee Hoyos in 2018. Hoyos issued a statement saying her campaign may not have won, but all our efforts are not lost. Burchett says he's thankful for the opportunity to serve again and the people that allowed him to do so. I'm just excited. I have great people that work for me uh, in D.C. and here and then the volunteers. That's that's really what makes one of these elections happen. I, I've been involved in so many of these campaigns and I always think all the big shots that are involved and honestly the folks that just get out and beat the doors down for you and work the polls and put yard signs up and do all those kind of things. That's what makes the campaign happen. Well, I'm excited. I've all over the country. I've getting texts from some of my friends in Congress and some U.S. Senator, and um, I'm excited. All right, in District 1, Republican Diana Harshbarger defeated Blair Walshingham. Harshbarger will replace Dr. Phil Rowe, who has held this seat for the last 12 years. Republicans have held that seat since 1881. In District 3, that is the western part of our area, incumbent Republican Chuck Fleischman will hang on to his seat as well. He beat Democrat Meg Gorman. And in District 4, incumbent Scott Desjardins will also keep his seat. Democrat Christopher Hale ran against him. Desjardins has been a congressman since 2011. All right, we want to take a closer look at some of the results in Knox County. For that, Yvonne Thomas is in downtown Knoxville with a look at who will be representing the area. Good morning to you, Yvonne. Hey, Russell, good morning to you as well. Now, in Knox County, many incumbents did re retain their seats, but we'll also see some newcomers this year as well. Let's break down those results for you this morning. Let's start with State Senate District 6. Republican incumbent Becky Duncan Massey hangs on to her seat. She overcame Democrat Jane George. Now, Duncan Massey attended the University of Tennessee. Now, looking at District 13 for the State House, incumbent Democrat Gloria Johnson beat Republican Elaine Davis. Davis is a former Knox County Commissioner Johnson is a retired teacher and in House District 16 Republican Michelle Carringer defeated Democrat Elizabeth Rowland handedly. This was the race to replace Bill Dunn who is retiring and Eddie Manis scored a big win for House District 18 over Democrat Virginia Couch. Manis is not new to Knox County politics. He ran to become Knoxville's mayor last year and lost but will be new to the Capitol. And Manis is making history. He will be the first openly gay state lawmaker in the state. But he says that isn't a major focus of his. I will not deny that it is a milestone. And, but to some extent, that, that even adds a little more pressure, you know, because it's the first time. And uh, so, uh, but just like I said, I'll work hard. Manis says he's ready to express his opinions and to do his homework. Now, coming up at 530, we'll talk more about the record-breaking voter turnout that we saw here in Knox County and across East Tennessee.